What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do ACB, Aurora Cannabis, and this stock is getting ramped and ready to go. Uh, the marijuana stocks are really running really good. So just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications on these swing trades and like the video. Let's get into why I'm going to choose Aurora over all these other marijuana companies. So is Kronos Group a better stock than Aurora Cannabis stock? Uh, I think it is, and let me show you why. There's no denying that Aurora Cannabis is the bigger company out of these two stocks. Aurora Cannabis reported $35 million in sales over the last quarter, and Kronos Group, they only reported $3.8 million in their last quarter. So last year, Aurora's production was roughly around 70,000 kg, uh, but its capacity could reach about 150 kg by next year and could eclipse 500,000 kg by 2020. And Kronos Groups is roughly around 6,600 kg as of right now, but they're also looking to increase by 117 kg by next year. So Aurora is much larger than Kronos Group. So this is another thing to think about. Aurora Cannabis has not landed a major partner yet outside of the cannabis industry. So they're still looking for somebody. And this, if they find somebody, it can make the stock run up even hotter than it is right now. So there hasn't been a date yet set yet for their earnings report, but Aurora and Kronos and Tilray's, uh, they're both set to report in the next few weeks. So if you were wondering who the big three marijuana companies are right now, it's Canopy Growth, Aurora Cannabis, and Tilray. And Canopy Growth stock is up there. It's up in the hundreds, and Tilray's is up there pretty good too. One thing you want to keep in mind though, these marijuana stocks are very volatile. They move quick up and they can also move just as quick down. So here's Aurora's website. You can see it's very nice. So as you can see here, they got a mobile app where you can buy your marijuana over the phone. And from what it looks like, it is very user friendly. And here I got the ranking marijuana stocks by revenue. Canopy Growth, 73 million. Kushko, 69 million. And here's Aurora Cannabis, 61 million. And let's just go all the way down to the bottom of the list. Oh, we have Kronos Groups here at 9.1 million. And this is something just to think of. Uh, if you don't know Robinhood, it's the stock buying app. And if you don't have Robinhood and you want it, you can get a free stock down on my link down below in the info. But Apple used to be the number one stock, but they no longer hold the top spot. Aurora Cannabis does. That's just something I want to put out there. All right, so looking at the chart right now, it's uh, 792. Had a huge pullback today. I have resistance right here at about 731. So I don't think this stock is going to get below that. So what I'm hoping for tomorrow is for the stock to have a nice pullback right when it opens up. So that way it gets a good, nice little entry point into it. Let me zoom in right here. As you can see, it just got underneath the 50 period here. So it's kind of acting as resistance, as you can see. So tomorrow it actually might push it down a little bit. So it's going to be a pretty good entry point to get into. So anything under $7, I think the stock is a really good buy. Hell, I think it's a good buy even at $8 probably. Because I believe the stock is going to be up around $20, probably within a month or even less than a month. Yeah, so right now is a good time to get into the marijuana stocks when they're hot. And uh, this is a good buy right now. Very good price. This stock uh, is very undervalued. So let's go ahead and get in for a nice swing trade. Just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. And uh, let's make some money!